Uh, welcome to Media Day at PK Park. We're really excited to unveil the finest baseball facility in the nation. A lot of hard work by a lot of people involved from uh, the dream of baseball to uh, really bringing and putting the a quality stadium together and finishing the final touches. We're really excited. We wish our team were here today to start playing, but they got to wait a week and get some great uh, games in on the road. Um, I think today you'll see that it is going to provide first quality, first class quality baseball, quality seating for the fans, and just a great venue to play baseball. Um, yeah, we're, we're again, like Coach said, we're really excited that you could come today. I think what you'll see today is a ballpark that's incredibly diverse, a concourse that is a new concept to Eugene. We haven't seen that. We'll see that in the arena, but a concourse where commerce and fun will happen in view of the actual game, um, diverse party areas. Um, we'll have covered awnings and terraces and student areas and um, an area for everybody in the entire family to have a great time here at PK Park. And then also a facility that helps us be um, a preeminent baseball program. When we reinstated baseball, we didn't do it just to have the sport. We did it to be Oregon and to be great at it and to go win championships. And we think this ballpark will allow us to do that. This is a big foul territory area. This is where all the beer is going to be served and hospitality. Three terraces down. Concession stand will be right here. And so you have to envision a bunch of people just throughout this entire area here enjoying the ball game. So this is a uh, player's lounge. This is going to be a 40-seat classroom or couches or ping pong. <laughs> Whatever the coach wants it to be, there'll be a 60-inch TV on the wall. Uh, kitchen facilities for the guys. This is a place for them to do their homework. All the data is lined up. One thing we learned a lot about baseball when we traveled around is that baseball players want to be at the ballpark. They want to be able to do their homework there. They want to be able to relax and eat there. And so this is what this room is for. It's just their room to have it be however they want to have it. The clubhouse, uh, there are lots of things in the clubhouse that were really neat that the architects did. Um, some of the things are similar and then has the Oregon twist to it, like the O in the ceiling, something that Texas did. They put a big longhorn, but then we took it one step further and created a concave O, which will be lit any color we want it to light. So the light yellow or green, so it's kind of a recessed lighting, and then the O on the floor. And then the lockers really came from Vanderbilt. Everything in this ballpark is something we saw somewhere else that we thought was the best we saw, and then we put our own twist to it. There'll be TVs in here as well, and the uh, lockers themselves are very functional and, and a big deal for, for a college baseball coach. You spend a lot of time really wanting to make sure the locker's just right. Have a great plaza area and to have a welcoming environment. This pillar on the right side will have a big PK Park sign, and the next one will have a picture of Don Kirsch. It will be engraved into the concrete, and we'll engrave uh, accomplishments all the way down, but we want to have a nice open space to welcome people. Ticket office is right there, so it kind of gives you the exterior. There'll be a vine that grows up that trellis there, so that'll be a big green plant, kind of a, you know, a la Wrigley Field, if you will. So a big green plant grows up that trellis. kind of gives you an idea how this how this concourse is going to work. You can imagine during a summer game when the M's are playing how people are just going to be kind of walking around on this like it's a mall. And, uh, and then for us what's great is that if it starts to rain in March or April, we have plenty of spots for people to get covered. And so unlike our other venues where we usher people to the seats, we don't want them in the seats. We want them up here dry, buying coffee and hot chocolate and candy and popcorn and hot dogs and whatever else. So. Uh, it was really important to us to create a lot of dry space for our, our team. And then also this wide open area I think is going to be uh, really a neat concept for, for our team and for the Emeralds. Four booths for radio and TV. This is a big deal for hosting an NCAA tournament. So home and visiting radio, auxiliary booth, and then TV booth. So radio, TV, Mr. Kilkenny. If when he's here, you can watch from here. And then this will be the home radio right here. This is all game ops. So scoreboard, video board, official scorer. Um, you know, anything you need to do to run the game happens in here. Audio. So section 13 here, and then um, 
you know, you can kind of see what the perimeter looks like if you look beyond the wall here. It's kind of a nice landscaping, gated. Um, and then this will be a student section, but also a reserve bleacher for a lower price ticket. And there'll be tables and chairs and parties down here too. So we can go down here and go on the field. The ADA ramp, uh, we, we think that this is the most ADA compliant ballpark we think ever built. There, you might have noticed even in the locker room, due to the, uh, due to the law, we actually had a locker that was this high for, to meet ADA compliance in case we ever to have a, a player get hurt and have to be in a wheelchair and still have his locker. Um, the ramps into the dugouts, the, all the ramps that are around, all the full accessibility is a huge deal. Um, ADA seating right behind the dugout, so they have the, the options. ADA seating all throughout the entire concourse. And so that's one of the things we spent a lot of money on and are proud that we could have, uh, you know, what we think is the most compliant ADA stadium in the country. So, um, Student bleachers out here, student section. We think it's still a really good seat. Pretty close to the action. Dugouts are long and deep, so we're pretty excited about those.